action. All right. Hello everyone, my name is Will Martin and I am the president of App State Playcrafters and on behalf of Playcrafters, I welcome you all to the 2022 24-hour play festival. For those of you who have not attended 24-hour in the past, it is essentially a theatrical marathon. At 6 p.m. yesterday, we met to begin this wonderfully exhausting process, and in that time, we wrote, casted, and rehearsed all of the plays that you are about to see. Uh, so, without further ado... Oh, sorry guys. Um, how could I forget? To set the mood for our performances this evening, the incredibly talented folks behind this production have put together an opening number. Please give it up for the cast and directors of the 2022 24-hour play festival. Woo! You said you were from Athens? 
Uh, yes, um, Athens is my home. However, I'm not sure how I ended up here. I was deep in discussion with my brothers and got up to use the bathroom and now I'm here. You're the ancient Greek philosopher, Plato, aren't you? Well, I would hardly call Greece ancient. Perhaps not to you, but to us. You're over 2,000 years old. By the gods. Anyway, anyway, it's a lot to take in, but Plato, what do you think about cats? <laughs> well, I suppose I don't have any particularly strong feelings about the creatures. I hold no contempt towards them, but they don't hold a special place in my heart either. I suppose until they do something that would influence my opinion on them, I both enjo enjoy and loathe the little things. Interesting. Gentlemen, as intellectually stimulating as this conversation is, we do have more important matters to attend to. What? What important matters are there to attend to? Exactly. Where is here? This actually reminds me of an allegory I am quite fond of. And what might that be? Imagine there's a group of men who are all chained inside of a cave, and all they can see oh, is... you mean the allegory of the cave. Well, now how do you know about it? I just came up with it. Well, again, you are 2,000 years old. I simply am not. I don't think that the cave works here. See, we've seen the outside, and now we're trapped in here. Yeah, I do not think it works in this situation. Well, I don't suppose either of you have any ideas. Well, considering how this has been going, I think we should take into consideration that this is hell. If only I had my gun. <laughs> take care of this myself. What's a gun? What? Never mind that. What would you do with your gun to fix this? Well, I would start by shooting you lot. <laughs> <laughs> that way I could have some peace and quiet to think. Well, that is incredibly rude, sir. Well, I still think we haven't given the cave any out. Everyone and their mother have fought the cave to death. Do you have anything else? Not at the moment. Then I prevail upon you, dearest sir. Shut the hell up about the cave. Well, why don't we take a break for a little, yeah? Clearly we're all getting a little tense. <laughs> <laughs> the only break that I desire at this time is one that gets us out of this damned place. I've been here forever. I can only read this so many times before I descend into madness. So if we could just figure this all out and get on with our lives, that would be ideal. If I never saw either of your faces again, it would be too soon. Well, that is just incredibly disrespectful. I pray thee, if thou hast something to say it, speak it. And I feel I was quite straightforward. I suppose you are not as smart as we were led to believe. Enough! There is no time in which we get out of this by tearing each other apart. So for the love of God, can you please pull yourselves together? I've had more than enough of your instant Bickering. I need to get back to Mr. Snuggles, damn it all! Wait. Your cat's name is Mr. Snuggles? Yes, sir. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> How did he... he just left? Well, it was nice meeting you, but... I suppose we can part ways now. Good day. <laughs> what the hell?
from your sleep You dry your tears Today we escape We escape And get dressed before he falls or he is before. Oh, hell breaks I think we lost them. Stop moving. They're gone. What were you thinking? I was trying to save our asses. We couldn't stay in the gas station forever. We could have waited a few more days. There was bottled drinks and booze. And booze. Yes, <laughs> Finn. Enough booze to make us forget that the end of the world is literally happening. Guys? They knew where we were. They could have gone in at any time. Guys, this yelling isn't helping anything. Ah! They could hear us. Slow down there, Mike Tyson. Let's not splinter our knuckles. Oh, so the pageant queen comes up with the jokes. Well, dearest me, madame. Shut, oh, shut the hell up. I might have three titles, but I could stomp you to the ground in heels. Please stop, guys. Just tell your brother to stop being a jackass. I'm trying to protect us. Guys, Hartley is right. We need to calm down and save our energy. I said we camp here for the night, and then we move out tomorrow to the mall. There has to be other people set up there. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to protect my little sister. I'm sorry for you. How's your hand? It's fine. Remember when we all got lost in these woods? <laughs> and Seth lost his flip-flop? <laughs> Gone, but not forgotten. I miss those days. I miss being able to be a kid. My mom got so mad at me. Came home all dirty. Guess those adventures came in handy. I wonder if we should check out that spring. Try to get some fresh water. You sound like a pioneer, Daniel Good. <laughs> I'm being serious. I don't have 7-Eleven anymore. Maybe tomorrow. <coughs> it was just a cough. It always starts with a cough. I'm fine. Do you still have the water bottles for the gas station? Can't see. I said I'm fine. We have to take this serious. What do you want me to do? Run into the woods? I wouldn't go that far. Then yeah, haven't you consider it? Kenzie, we're not trying to attack you. Well, it feels like an attack. It was just a cop, okay? I said that's not a natural thing. My mom just coughed one day, and then she tried to kill me. I would never kill you. Yeah, I'm sure my mom wouldn't either if she was healthy. Fine. What if you keep watch over me? If and only if I start to change, you can kill me. Could it kill you? What else are we supposed to do? Remember how we used to all go bowling after school? Hardly. I don't know what we should do. There's no right answer for it. We used to all play laser tag. Hurley, please. Nobody trusted each other. What are you going on about? It's kind of like this. This isn't laser tag, Hartley. This is life or death, and I could kill all of you. <coughs> Fuck. I should just go. Kenzie, don't go. We'll, we'll figure it out. How? I'll kill you. I. I don't know. We'll find a way. Not if you're dead. What if I give you the virus? What if I've already given you the virus? Well, then I guess it's too late. It's too late. Well, then, I guess this is it. I'm glad it was with you guys. For me. Remember that bonfire we had for Kenzie's birthday? Yeah, that was pretty great. And Finn almost turned himself into a fire. <laughs> for your information, I prefer my marshmallows extra <laughs> <coughs>
from the movie. Yeah, and that's why you shut up. I'll do. So do we need to wait longer for you yeah, then? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah, let's wait until you're on stage. Will. We cannot hear you. Start earlier in Chikikita. It's fine. Alex, we're we're gonna start Chikikita earlier. Um, How does four minutes start at four? That gives like at four minutes, so that gives Ava enough time to change. Yeah, I don't know if you uh, how long would that set change be at that point? A minute and a half is what we A minute and a half is how long we're allowing, or like, allotting for it. Okay. But it all depends on how fast Ava changes. That's what the issue We're is. putting aside a minute and a half for it, but it really just depends on how fast Ava can change, like, out. Of Ava, yeah. what costume are you coming from and getting into? Um, it's like... I just have to change the shirt and my shoes. Okay, so what shoes are you starting in for the other show? Um, Nikes, they're like white Nikes. Is Walker here? Walker? Yeah, the guy that directed Gas Station. He is on. I'm sure I can wear these for that. Okay, can you talk to him about that? Because yeah. that would make it a lot quicker yeah. if you don't have to change yeah. shoes. Yes. And then you could even, are you wearing a jacket for Gas Station? Yeah. You could just wear that shirt under it. Oh and no, just... I'm wearing like it's like a shirt like this. I'm just switching off the shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. That would make it a lot faster. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the shoes that would be issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you could talk to him about that and just make sure it's okay with him. And those type of shoes will probably fit like the post apocalyptic oh, yeah. Yeah. zombie vibe, so yeah, you know, oh, I think those fit more than Nike's personally. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was just like gets busted, like old stuff. Those are like busted shoes. That's right. The dogs are fine. Oh, I should probably have stopped recording. Oops. You can just leave it recording. Okay. Okay, do you want to start over? Yeah, let's. Start. Yeah. Okay. start from the beginning of the show. We need to take a count. Alright. Do I use the count? Yes. Do the transition again. Alright, we're going to start over. So if you want to mute yourself. Okay.
to the movie. Yeah, and that's why you shut up. Ow. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Looks like someone's gonna have to leave, and it ain't gonna be me. It's gonna have to be one of us then. <laughs> this is gonna get good. I bet she's going to shoot her right in between the eyes. Nah. They don't have the technology to make that look real. They do too. Uh-uh. I just don't understand why you had to betray me. It was the only way. I had no other choice. Every woman for themselves. You know this. It don't gotta work like that. You can just come back to camp, friend. We can let it go. We're far past that. When are they going to start shooting? This is so boring. Shh, just be quiet. They'll get to it. Just tell me why. Why then? You? You know why. I'd like to hear it straight from the coward's mouth. You want to know? You really want to know the truth. Just spit it out, damn it. My god, how long does this seem last? Just shut up. It's going to get good. I couldn't stand seeing you around anymore. Now when you... You are all a, a constant reminder of all that we had, all that we lost, all that we are. We've talked about this. You know how much I miss you. You know what would happen if we tried again. This is for the better. How could you just throw it all away? I didn't want to throw you away. People grow together and they grow apart. I never meant to hurt you. I never wanted to hurt you. You're the one pulling a gun on me right now. You realize that, don't you? Wait, wait. What the hell is going on? I don't really know. I don't remember this part. Fine. I'll put it away. Please, I just want to talk. I just want to say goodbye. Friend, we've been here. You've said this twice before. I'll just keep on hurting you. You'll just keep on hurting me. Please, just let me hold you. Please, honey. Is this gay? Is it really? I, I'm lost. I really don't remember this part. <laughs> How long ago was it when you watched this? I don't know. I thought I saw it on TCM with my grandpa. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I've met your grandpa and you would not watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Can I even trust you? How do I know you won't come over here and shoot me? Because I love you! You? You really mean that? Just let me come over there and prove it. I'll prevail upon you, dearest madam. Shut the hell up. Make me cowgirl. <laughs> you promise you swear to it that we won't be in this situation ever again? I know I've hurt you. I know it. But I can change. Just give me the chance. I'll do good by you. I will, honey. You have my word. My life, my whole heart is yours as long as you'll take it. I promise. Oh, oh darling, I can't see him out of you. Come over here. <laughs>
problem, my good sir? It's the fucking router again. My lab is due in 20 minutes, and I can't turn it in again because the Wi-Fi dropped. I swear to God, why did we go with Spectrum? That would be the same reason we're all living together. We're broke. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, oh shit. Coffee shops, they have Wi-Fi, right? I'm afraid that's not possible as of now. Uh, why? The rain, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> Still a no go, Mika Padre. Call the new box flooding, they should have warned you to stand inside. Flooding? Oh, yeah, lots of it. Hey, have you guys seen my keys anywhere? Uh, well, why? What's up? Charlie's drunk ass went bar hopping before the storm hit, and now I need to go save them. Oh, well, what about the storm? I mean, what else am I going to do? I can't just leave them. Uh, it's just down the street. If I get my keys, I can be in and out, and hell yes! All right, I'll see you guys. Hey. No need to fret the little things. What's one late assignment in the grand calculus of the multiverse? Sit down, breathe, take a moment to just relax. One late assignment. This is the final project and the last class thing to graduate. If I miss this, I fail. If I fail, I have to stay an extra year because they only offer it in the spring. And if I stay any longer, I have to completely redesign my five-year plan, ten-year plan, and I'm rushing my budget. <laughs> oh shit, my budget. I'll have to take some of the money I've done away so I can afford to retake the class and, oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit down, man. <laughs> <laughs> There was some treasure down there in some tiny creek that's practically impossible to get through. A bunch of people believed him and started telling everyone else, and eventually everyone was trying to get to the path. You know what I mean? No. Not in the slightest. Uh, fair enough, my dearest companion. <laughs> what? It doesn't matter. The point is, remember, there's no need to constantly fill yourself up with stress. That's why you should do what I do instead. What? Fill yourself up with weed? Uh, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got you, I got you, I got you. Alright, okay, sit down. Sit down, let's see the feet. There you go. <sighs> hey, tell student here that That life is not all about school and work and budgets and five-year plans. What? I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, it's still kind of important that we have money in order to, you know, live. See? Well, Thank you, Pam. Hold on. Even though that is important, you kind of got to remember that life's not just about what's coming next. It's about what's happening right now. Chill the fuck out. Yeah, what, what they said. Oh, my poor, dear lost soul. Deny the money you are so focused on and embrace the wealth of knowledge which I bestow upon you. Release the road that you believe is keeping you moving and let the water just carry you safely to where you need to go. Whatever. Oh, I gift you this knowledge to you. My friend, no, I lend you my truth, my dear. Nay, I prevail upon you, dearest man. Oh, mom. shut the hell up! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna try and find somewhere with Wi Fi. Can you grab me a white claw while you're out? Oh, come on, man. The parking lot's practically flooded before I got here. Whatever, I, I gotta take care of this. Holy shit! Holy shit. Holy love shit. It was an email from a professor. Apparently the storm took out some people's power and he's moving the deadline. 
Holy shit, that's awesome. Now, will you relax? Oh, fine, I'll relax. Now, where's the relax? The fedora. It's the money makers. I'm not using a fedora. I'm not a loser. Who could be a fucking mine? I want my 20 bucks after this. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, okay, get this is your, your shells. What's your deal, man? You know that chick? We go back. Freshman year. Home home act. Don't tell don't tell me it's Amanda fucking Flair! Jerry! I'm still I'm still yeah. You were crushed from high school after all these years? Dude, quit being weird. You gotta ask her out. How the hell am I gonna do that? I'll be your wingman. You just gotta talk to her. No way. I am a goddamn mind. I can't break the immersion. Quit being a whip! She's always said nice things about you. Really? Well, probably. Here. Reel me out. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you can't stop me. Don't do it. I Terry? <laughs> Terry, you're an idiot. <laughs> Terry! Excuse me, I prevail upon you, madam. Holy yes! shit! Oh my god! Are you okay? She just teased me! What do you think? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I thought you were mugging me. Wesley? 
uh, Amanda? Hi, you're that guy from... Colnac! First period! Yeah! How have you been? Well, <laughs> you, you know, I've, 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 I've been around. Uh, I've been here, uh, you know, just, uh, just uh, doing my thing. <laughs> You know, it, it's something to pay bills. I just dabble on weekends. That is so cool. Is anybody gonna call me an ambulance? I think she struck a major artery. I mean, can't we wait just a little longer? <laughs> no, he's right. I can take him to the clinic down the street. Do you want to get coffee after? I really like that. Okay. Aww. Oh, screw it all. Go ahead. But you owe me big time, Wes. <laughs>